And that is why when, when, you, when you hear me, I'm not, I'm not giving promise here. When I talk about government of Nigeria, I'm not talking about it because they want to give me anything or because there's any interest there. I am only doing that because I am a prophet. When I get prophecy of Nam the Kano, I have never seen him before. I've never met him before. But the Lord revealed that revelation to me and I give the prophecy. I give it clear the way I saw it in the realm of the spirit. And for those who are followers and are and all these things, when I gave a prophecy again about uh, Moses, Simon, Eber, some people were like, oh, what are you saying? I said, this man is possessed with the spirit of, of, of freedom. Look at what I saw. Look at what I saw. Look at the dimension it's going. A lot of people say, oh, it cannot be possible. We could crucify, crucify. My own is when I say something, I keep quiet. And I, I fold my hand like this. I begin to watch. I put my hand. Because I know I did not hear from man. If you cannot hear from God, don't say it. So that you don't disgrace yourself. That was why when you come, you, you come to speak and the God has spoken to your ears, you say it with every degree of audacity and dimension. Audacity. <laughs> A lot of people don't know what's called audacity. The audacity to stand out and prophesy the way the revelation is given to you. That's why when Nigerian government want to go into their elections, I don't need to come and wait for the day of election. I don't need to come and begin to say, oh, which one has a campaign highest? All I need is to peep into the realm of the spirit and see beyond the human reign. Because in the human reign, there's what's called myopicness. In the human reign, there's what's called the limitations. In the human reign, there's what's called, what's called a twatting. But in the spiritual reign, beyond the human reign, you can see the end of a thing from the beginning. You can look at, that is why God himself knows the end of everything from the beginning. That is why God himself will tell you the end of everything from the beginning. And that's why Jesus said, this son of man will going to be crucified and will be betrayed by one of his disciples. And they will sell him out to the enemy and they will scourge him, they will beat him, they will do this, they will do that and they will crucify him. And they will tore his cloth, everything, and they prophesied and told them everything that was going to happen to him. And he told them on the third day that the Son of Man will rise again because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. He knows the end from the beginning. That's why I have always tried my best to make sure as a major prophet of God, I don't dance to tones or dance to whoever is coming. Oh, he's, he's showing, he wants to show me. Whatever you are trying to do, all of those things, I don't care about those things. What I care about is what I see in the realm of the spirit because I know that in the realm of the spirit lies everything that must happen to humanity. Anything that must happen on the face of the earth has already been taking place in the realm of the spirit and it is beyond the human realm. So you have to look at what's called the spiritual realm because the spiritual realm knows it all. Somebody was saying, oh, this prophecy, oh, you did not tell us the country. You, you, you are not wise. If you're wise, you ask yourself a question. How did this thing happen? So within just a, a, a seven days, this thing happened. Okay, as it happened, how did God now make it this way? It didn't lead to negativity. Look at what has happened. So you will now know there's profit in revelation a prophet is for the edification of the church a prophet is for comfort a prophet is for blessing a prophet is for the light a prophet is to tell you the way to follow when god is revealing something to you it is for you to know where to follow who to follow and how to follow up don't be an enemy of blessing don't be an enemy of progress don't be an enemy of that total liberation and freedom and every good thing that god has proposed on your way when god has revealed something it is for the light that was why when john the baptist saw jesus he said this is the son of the most high who taketh away the sins of the world hear him and follow him because he saw very clear in the realm of the spirit and they enter into the realms and they saw the one that the dove will come in like a holy spirit and landed on him he said this is the lamb of god that taketh away the sins of the world to hear him follow him look at him follow and connect to him because that is the man that will take away the sins of the world john the baptist was talking about 
Jesus. He did not say, oh, eh, are you the Christ? <laughs> oh, because you are the Christ. <laughs> uh, what will happen to me? <laughs> Why did God not talk about myself? And he said, I must decrease that he must increase. <laughs> there are people God has made them that they will decrease. And some other people God has made them that they will increase. So when it comes to human reign, the human reign is where there's limitation. The human reign is where there is what's called what's called truncating, and the human reign is what's what, what's called in the in the, in the, in the realm of the human is where it's called flesh and blood, and where flesh and flesh we want to glory, but in the realm of the spirit, flesh and blood cannot glory in the presence of Jehovah because Jehovah is the Alpha and the Omega. So God bless us and God continue to do his work in our lives in the name of Jesus. A major prophet of God will not stop to prophesy. Because when I told you, I said, these are the things. And then, then watch out because there are a lot of prophecy in my mouth. There's a prophecy that God wants to bring out yesterday. But because of the distractions and the savage and what was going on, the project in the house of God was making a delay. And so the Lord took the major prophet of God and I see myself in the realm of the spirit. Pay attention and share this broadcast. Pay attention and share this broadcast because in the realm of the spirit is where it's called beyond the human realm. Beyond the human realm. And what did I see? We must pray for the whole world in general. We must stand as intercessors to pray. We must do everything possible to continually to pray and intercede for the whole world in general. Because the essence of this intercessory prayer and all of that is what I saw in the realm of the spirit. Watch out and see these things unfold. Many, many countries of the world we begin to go into what's called adventures karatu brakatila aso bereketos konfarande koto and this adventure is where you see countries of the world now begin to search for another place of abode outside the earth because in the realm of the spirit this is what's called in the realm of the spirit this is what's called artificial earth where people want to now vacate the earth and go to stay <laughs> and the major prophet of God in the realm of the spirit, I begin to ask the Lord, I say, what is the essence of this? Are these people trying to now abandon the earth and go to another planet and begin to live there? And God said, not abandon the earth and go to another planet, but this is what's called people now trying to get an alternative where they can evacuate all their citizens to, so that when they now start what's called, what's called a nuclear weapon to now destroy the face of the earth, they will have alternative place where they can use what's called their supersonic boom and shoot out and move out of the space and go to their new earth that they are prepared and then i begin to ask the lord i said this new earth that they are preparing is it going to be the new jerusalem and the new earth that the bible said that heaven is going to bring down for the righteous to save the righteous and the people that are going to rule with christ for a millennium year or what is it going to be about because i have read in the bible where the scripture says that there's going to be what's called the reign a millennium reign of jesus christ where jesus and the saved ones are going to be together and rule for one thousand years is that what I'm going to see? And the Lord said, no. This thing is what's called a man-made earth. Where the earth is going to now become a place that they say, okay, we can destroy it and then we'll have another alternative. Very soon you will see that many countries will do everything possible to begin to go into the space, to begin to do what's called the research of alternative earth. Because on earth today, they have produced so many, 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 many. They have produced so many, so many, so many nuclear weapons, nuclear bombs, and nuclear, uh, uh, nuclear atomic bomb that can destroy the whole face of the earth on that what's called on that what's called a week or a month or a day or a few weeks of 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 of, of activation of nuclear weapons because they want to use this to now debar the earth. And then I begin to cry in the spirit. I say, Lord, what's going to happen to people in Africa, especially Nigerians, who don't have money to now buy a supersonic boom that can fly them out of this country to now begin to enter into what's called the supersonic space jet, where they can now move and shoot out like a launch into the space to now boom and enter into the new earth. What's going to happen? 
And the Lord said, I just revealed this to you to know what the plans of the enemies are. So that the people who knows how to pray and the people of God who believe so much in the things of the spirit and people who are spiritual to begin to pray, to come against the son of perdition, to come against the son of destruction, to come against the enemy of humanity, to begin to pray against what's called destruction. And the Lord said, this thing is the reason why you will see that very, very soon everything called a Naira note. Everything called a dollar note, everything called a world note, everything called a note money. You will see very soon in the nearest future, anything paper money will be completely eradicated on the face of the earth. Go and write it down and put the date down because it is going to happen on the face of the earth. And no country of the world will have need for anything paper money.